guys, this is Craft here. I didn't give you another tour review. Sorry for the long wait. You know, so since this is the first of Black History Month, they gonna do Squadron Supreme here. We got a Nighthawk and the Blur. So I'll show you right there. You got the title right there, and got the side right there. They like the, from the toy. At the back, you see the accessories come with. Almost a little bit of a decent amount, but you know, we can always use more hands, so I say. And that's them. We'll leave these there. In the back, got all the little environmental friendly stuff there. So let's take them out the box and hope everything's working good. You know, it's always like a surprise grab box thing here on these figures. So let's hope for the best and let's get them out the box. So with these guys out of the box, who will I review first? I'm going with Nighthawk. So, Blur, you, you sit this one out. So, we got Nighthawk here, you know, Kyle Richmond. Now, originally he was like a white dude, but I guess he probably looked, maybe looked at like, you know, too much like Batman, and you do the squint test, you probably be like, oh no, they might sue, we don't know, so maybe that's why they, you know, power swapped him and made him like black. I don't know, you know, you do the squint test and maybe by looking at it like, he's not that much like Batman, but you know, it's Nighthawk, right? But you know, he's supposed to be that Batman analog for Marvel, anyway. But here he is out of the box. He looks cool. I wish he was more muscular, you know. He looked muscular in some of the pictures I've seen of him. But other than that, you know, he can turn his head all around if he wants to do that. I don't know if he want to, but me too. He can do this, but you know the cake getting away. I'm pretty sure he can go. I don't know, I like it's not that far. So you got biceps with right there. So he still knows, so I still gotta work out the kinks. So you know double jointed elbows there. Oh, yeah, the cape fell off. Turn at the wrist. Can you bend at the wrist? Oh there you go, he can bend at the wrist, so he can bend. He can bend right there, you can bend that far at the torso there. Can you kick very far? I didn't kick that far. Can you do the splits? No, the splits pretty good. So, oh, that's what we're there. Double jointed knees. Yep. You got like the swivel over here at the calves. Yep. You can swivel at the calves. You can pivot right here at the angle and angle articulation. So. He got all that jazz. So this is him, you know. This is Kyle. And um, he looks okay, he looks cool. I don't, I'm not a fan of this cape though. I really think Marvel should start doing cloth goods. I really think they should, but I don't know. Whatever, well, they're probably gonna make the stuff cost more money, but that's what I think anyway. So that's pretty much Kyle here, you know, if you want him to stay the white guy, you prefer him black. Leave it in the comments below. So now let's get into the Blur. Now we have Blur, the fastest man, I mean mortal alive. So this is Blur, he's doing the same thing as uh, Nighthawk is, so you know he's supposed to be like the Flash of the Marvel Universe. So again, they're probably trying to do the, the squint test to change him up a little bit so he don't be too much like the Flash, even though some of the story sound a little similar though, but yeah, because I believe he got his power of like supernatural, it's not like scientifically that he got his power, you know, kind of like monk stuff and other supernatural stuff, but you know, it's, it's, it's different, you know, it's different. So, it's, you know, just trying to avoid the whole, you know, like there's a certain popular game out right now that looks similar, but you know, but different enough that you know that Nintendo not coming out to them. You guys are hopefully are playing this game. The game's awesome. But I digress. Back to the review. So this is Blur, the Wizard, or Speed Demon. I always thought it was Speed Demon, but I guess it's Blur. Cause I ain't really like a big fan of the Squadron Supreme. I only read about them a little bit during the uh, Heroes of Reborn. Cause I thought it was okay. I thought it was an okay story. Wasn't the best, but it was okay. But anyway, you can do it there. You know, you do the T pose. You can also spin his head while you want to do that, but you can do that. 
And you know, you can't really go down too far. You can't. Well, there you go. You can look up though, really far. You got that. So yeah, he is gonna go way back more so than uh, Nighthawks. He was going like really far back. And you got bicep swivel there. He's also double jointed elbows. You can see that right there. You can move at the wrist right here. Twist the wrist, swivel it. So you got that. You can bend that far, bend that far back. Now he can kick about the same. Little splits. Got a little thigh swivel right there. Double jointed knees. There you go. Man there at the knees there. Yeah, swivel at the calves. Ankle pivot. And you got ankle movement right there. So. So that's about him. That's really it of Blur. Of all those like Stanley Stewart. Yeah, I think believe that's the guy's name. Yeah. He has the attention span apparently of a Markenberg or meth. Crazy, right? So that's it for him. So let's get into the the uh, accessories. I don't know why I about to say articulate, but we already did that, didn't we? So blue accessory wise, right? didn't get much. He just got these two hands. That's it. I don't know why I didn't give him the running hand because he's a speedster, so he should have those running hands that you'll give a character. It's something like they trying to like move at the best optimal way, you know, to get that air resistance to get through it and stuff. So I don't know why he just got these like stretched out open hands like he's trying to grab something. Which I say I would like these, but again, I wish he had those little running hands or something. But again, they need to do a little bit more. And with that, that's the end of Boris. That's all he gets. Nighthawk got these two hands. And his battle rings, I mean hawker rings, you know, he got his hawker rings here. So you got that, you know. It kinda make you think about it like you squint really hard. They kinda look like the Batman from uh, Batman and Robin. It like kinda look like his logo, kinda. If you squint a little bit. Yeah, it kinda do look like that logo of the Batman from that movie. I think with Mr. Freeze. So you got that. And that's it. That's all we got with the accessories, so it sucks. Wish you could add a little bit more, you know. He's a comfort artist like Batman. He could have him some other stuff. You need to give him some gadgets or something. But th that that's it. So now let's get into the size comparison. Now you got the two standing next to a Ryu from the Jada Toys line and and it's look pretty cool, you know? It's Ryu. It's like one of the best figures that ever came out, right? So there that's how they stand next to each other. If you wanna do some more just Street Fighter meeting random people in the Marvel Universe. Now you want to have like one of the Cobra people came to recruit these guys, you know. Here you have Buzzer standing next to our little group here. So you can see how they stand, you know, typical six inch, so you know, it works. And now you got the main man standing next to our two guys here. Main man look good, it's from Tarver to Farley. Main man, yeah. See, now you got the original Nighthawk there, the new Nighthawk and Speed Demon here, which I thought was supposed to be like the wizard, and he's supposed to be part of Squadron Supreme from back in the day, but you know, I guess they really just made him as a Spider-Man villain, he worked with Silvermane, so, you know, that's them, that's how you see how they measure up together, and again, which one do you prefer, you prefer the original Nighthawk or the new Nighthawk, same as Blur, you prefer this Blur? I am as the wizard. Leave it in the comments below. And you have Aneka Goliath standing next to our Nighthawk and Blur. And yeah, he's towering the character, you know, the Neca and the Goliath is bigger than normal humans, so that's fine. So that's how they stand if you want to do some gargoyles in Marvel. And here's the rest of the team. We just need one more member, which is Power Princess. Mmm, can't wait for Power Princess, man. She's awesome. Mm -mm. Can't wait to get her. So, till then, this is how they stack up. And hopefully, uh, get that Power Princess soon. So, that's how they stack up. So, like before, uh, they don't come with a lot of accessories. They don't even come with no, like, face, uh, you know, portraits or anything that could show off more than personality. Like, great team, like, they get ready to fight or blur the smirking or something like, like he's cocky. They, they don't come with any of that. It's just the basic. Face, and you know, it's just Marvel flair. You know, the Hasbro does. 
You know, you wish they do more. You know, you pay a little bit more for them to do more, but they still want to raise the prices and just say, I was going to give you a bare minimum. But, you know, it sucks. It is what it is. But the figure themselves, I like them. They way better than Dr. Spectrum. Like, he kind of sucked, but these guys are just okay. Like, I want to say, like, they like the bee's knees, but they, they, they okay. So, I do recommend buying them if you are fans of these characters. If not, you know, you can pass, but if you just want to com be a completionist, go for it. You know, if you're just kind of skeptical about it, but you want, like, a Batman, you know, type of parallel, then get them. Then you can try to compare it to your old Batman, a six inch, and have them just bang them together or something, whatever you want to do, photography it. But, well, I think it's okay. But this is Crab signing out. Please leave a like and subscribe. And uh, also, again, which, uh, which version of Squadron Supreme did you like? Out of all the incarnations that they had of them, leave it in the comments below. Until next time, guys, you be good, alright? Be good for February. Bye, guys. See you next time.